it was devastating, just devastating that I'm going to have to go a different path. This was supposed to be my little academic scholar, but also my little athlete. I had it all planned, you know, the Olympics and the Super Bowl, the whole nine. But it was just coming to grips that I'm facing a new challenge, and my wife and I had to be all in. Mark and Don Lawrence's journey as parents of a special needs child began in 1989 with the birth of their son, Mark. Delivery was such an event because the labor was not progressive and they check for uh, the number of centimeters that I've dilated. It's one, eight hours later, I'm still at one. So now they're talking about a Schedule C. And so all of those things began to concern us because it wasn't cookie cutter. It was not following the path that we thought it would take. And so following that experience, we later found out that the possibility that he had swallowed some of the meconium and it would later show up as maybe some delays. We weren't sure. Mark says it was one of their son's first teachers who was instrumental in helping them identify some of the different traits that were taking place. Mark's development initially seemed fine, but it wasn't until, you know, he was in preschool and and couldn't focus and wouldn't respond to certain markers that one of his teachers came to us and began to have some conversations, some very honest conversations. Mark was diagnosed with Asperger's. For me, being an educator, I was assessing all along, trying to see what he could do, what he couldn't do. So I just began to modify my teaching strategies at home. Uh, You know, every day I would read to him and teach him things. And Mark was uh, Mark was pretty high functioning, so his needs were not as profound as the second son, Micah. Micah was diagnosed with autism. Micah's change was almost like overnight. There are people who fiercely disagree and fight that, but I will always be one to say, look, I know, you know, how my son, I remember him being in the back seat and he'd be humming and just percolating. And then after that final inoculation, he was the opposite. He just went, went numb and became a totally different person and put to, and, and cast us on a completely different journey. The Lawrence has consulted with Mark and Micah's teachers to develop individualized educational plans for their sons that included goals to work on. In the beginning, uh, because we were seeing developmental specialists and psychologists and psychiatrists and different ones, they recommended some assessments and based on those assessments, they qualified for early enrollment. And they loved it. They enjoyed it. So from three years old, Micah was three, Mark was about four and a half, five, and they they went from that time till 22. They both graduated from Chesapeake Public Schools. And when they were young adults, Don discovered a grant that would help Mark and Micah get out into the community and make a difference as volunteers. They would support churches by dusting and cleaning. They would do meals on wheels delivery. They shredded papers for certain realty agencies in the area. They bagged day-old breads and pastries from Panera and delivered to churches. And so they did these amazing assignments that the children loved. Mark and Don have now chronicled their journey in a book they've titled Raising Them Special. And they offer a little advice to those of us who don't encounter people with special needs on a regular basis. Just smile and be warm. You know, be gracious and there's a there's a there's a connection. There's a, just an unseen connection between the parents that you know. They know that this person identifies something special in my child. I encourage individuals to speak to the caregiver and say, "Oh, how are you today? How is this young man doing today?" Mm-hmm. Many times the caregivers say, "Oh, well, this is Micah. This is Mark, and you know, and well, how old are they? And what do they do during the day? You know." So I'm always in a teaching mode because I recognize so many have not been taught proper protocols for dealing with this demographic. For another view, I'm Lisa Godley.